respond. The question is, the member be agreed to, and I call the member for Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. I rise to support this very important second red tape repeal day and in doing so commend these bills to the House simply because lifting the burden of red tape and regulation will make life easier for residents and businesses on the Central Coast. Let me give you some examples in the time remaining. For individuals in my electorate of Robertson, we've made it easier for them to get in touch with government services by simply creating a MyGov account. With the click of a button, there's a centralised online point of access. And Mr Deputy Speaker, I understand that more than five million people have already registered. In fact, one of the people to sign up recently was Nicholas Staniford from Kilcare, who's spoken to me about how much easier it was to have everything in the one place and how he didn't need to have several different websites with different passwords. We're also enabling people to complete their tax return faster. The online My Tax system will save over 1.4 million taxpayers nearly $160 million a year in compliance costs by pre-populating their tax returns. And one of my, another local resident who spoke with me, Leon Manuela, who is just 22 years of age and lives in Tascot, said that for many young people on the Central Coast it's made doing their tax a lot less stressful. The electorate of Robertson is home to many high-quality and innovative aged care providers. With nearly 20 per cent of my electorate aged over 65 and having the seventh highest cohort in the country, aged care providers are an integral part of our community. So on this important red tape repeal day, I'm pleased to say we've removed the requirement to notify the department of any key changes of any changes in key personnel within 28 days of the change. Instead, providers will only need to tell the department about a change of circumstances that material, materially affect the provider's suitability to provide care. Jennifer Eddy, the chief executive officer of Woi Community Aged Care, advised me that far too much time has been, sent with, has been spent with ex excessive and inconsistent reporting and duplication of information to government departments, and that this is taking time away from the key role of delivering care to, to residents. Jennifer said that people looking at aged care services are becoming more discerning because of the cost, which makes it even more important that aged care services have the time to provide quality care. It's a similar situation for small businesses, which are the engine room of our economy, particularly on the Central Coast. So to help businesses focus on what they do best, we've removed the requirement to lodge a business activity statement for 32,000 businesses where no GST is payable. A further 447,000 businesses with minimal income are now exempt from pay-as-you-go requirements. Many people on the peninsula in the short time I have left will know Bremen Patisserie at Yamina Beach, and I dare say many people around Australia will know of them, because last year Ron, Ron and his family business was the national award winner for gourmet pies in the Great Aussie Pie Competition, and his success as a small business owner speaks for itself. Yet still, because of the need to stay on top of the red tape and regulation, his wife Helga stays up from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. in the morning to complete bookwork and paperwork. It's not an easy job for anyone, but especially not for a business that starts baking at the crack of dawn. That's why this government is working to lift this burden by having two repeal days every year to tear up unnecessary uh, regulation, uh, regulation. Mr Deputy Speaker, we've heard the voice of the community and they agree with us too. Many of these repeals are actually suggested from people and also uh, from business and community groups, Robinson, and I commend the bill to the House. With the resolution agreed to earlier, I call the 